I have another new video. This time we're going to talk about plantar warts and I have a surgical excision uh, video here that I want to show you. Warts are very common, something I take out in the office on a fairly regular basis. This is a very good example of a large plantar wart. Plantar means the bottom. It's a plantar wart if it's on the bottom surface of the foot. Uh, it's a regular wart if it's on your elbow or the top of the foot. So here you can see I'm injecting the area with a local anesthetic, a little numbing medicine. We put that right under the wart so that you don't have any pain. And yes, it does hurt a little bit to get an injection on the bottom of your foot. Um, it only lasts a minute. Um, and you can see the skin turning white there. That's the numbness, uh, the medicine taking effect. Um, at that point, people are already starting to feel numb. Um, something important to remember is warts are not very deep. Here you can see we're taking the scalpel and I'm making a little circle around the edge of the wart and the normal skin. So you, you do this little maneuver, take the blade, cut around the wart, and then uh, you got to be careful that you don't go too deep because there is a layer uh, between the skin and the fat. Um, that layer is a thick fibrous layer and the wart actually grows down right to that layer. People think that a wart will grow all the way down into the bone or it's excessively deep. The truth of the matter is all warts are about the same depth. They only go skin deep. They don't grow to the bone. They don't grow any deeper on the bottom of the foot than they do on the top of the foot or on your hand or elbow or anywhere else. So after you cut around it you just pull the wart off of this thick uh, fibrous layer um, in the skin and you can see it, it comes off fairly easily. Some come off easier than others. This is a very large wart so um, took a little bit more effort. Most warts are not this large. Um, you can see here that it just separates from that layer of skin. Um, if you can avoid breaking that layer of skin you can avoid having a scar. Um, if you see fat when you're dissecting a wart out like this, um, there's a good chance that you're going to have a, a little scar in that area of the fat popping through the, the fibrous layer. Um, most of the time you can avoid that uh, by just taking care and not going too deep. Sometimes there is a wart that's very firm and difficult to get off, but uh, most of the time it peels off just like this one does. and You can see that it comes off in one large piece. Um, again, this is a, a very large wart, um, and of course it's very painful to walk on it here on the ball of the foot. You can imagine that's where all of your weight goes, and it's painful walking on something like this. And um, The only time I cut warts out like this is when other treatments haven't worked. So this is not the first, first line of treatment for somebody like this, even with a wart this large. Um, I'll try some acid therapy that I have in the office. I use a really strong acid. Um, for the majority of the warts. I use some prescription medications, um, sometimes some oral medication. There's lots of different ways to treat warts. Um, again, surgery, doing this in the office is not very common. But when it's needed, it works. And you can see the wart comes out in one large piece. Um, there you can see the base and you can see that we've got just that white layer. There's no fat exposed. Then I'll take a little acid, a little phenol, and that creates a little burn and that will kill any remaining little wart particles that might be left uh, in the area. So it creates a little black sp um, spot to the skin. It also cauterizes the blood, keeps it from bleeding as much. Um, and then we put a little bandage on it and I put people back in their shoe. Uh, the foot will stay numb for a few hours depending on the numbing medicine we use. But uh, after you take the bandage off in a couple hours you can put a bandaid on at home and takes about three to four weeks for this to heal up completely. It's a great procedure when it's done the right way and uh, I hope that has been an informative video for you. Don't hesitate to call our office if you have any questions or uh, think you need something like this done.